Hello there. This is your Insta Pot Girl Jewel. We're back with another video. So today we're going to be melting some chocolate in your Insta Pot, which you can put up. You can use, I use a pan this hot or a bowl to set it up there with. Make sure you have a little something, something open there so it won't just get stuck. So I'm going to put the chocolate in. And to melt, help melt your chocolate, you can use coconut oil or you can use the Easy Thin from Amazon that I get. I have, um, I've already put some coconut oil in there. We're going to see what it's going to do. I have some cake pops that I need to do. I have a lot. This is just one pan. And what we're going to do is dip my chocolate. Once chocolate gets to the consistency that I need to dip the chocolate and put my cake pops. I did a video on this the other day. So these are ready to be a dip in the chocolate the first process with the stick. So I'm going to stir this up. And as soon as it can get to melting, I'll show you this, what it looks like. And this, it melts pretty fast and I don't need any more of this. I'm going to just finish this off in this bone. All right, put that over there. And you can also use vegetable oil, coconut oil, easy thin or vegetable oil. And there's probably some more products out there you can use to thin out your chocolate. And you don't want your chocolate to be too hot. It should not be over 98 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna show you how fast it's melting. Melting pretty fast. I'm pretty sure it melts fast. So. Let me get this with him a show. See how that is? Melting pretty fast. It's boiling down at the bottom. It is boiling hot. <laughs> so you have to be careful. And just keep stirring to get to the consistency. And this right here, I don't need it to be too thin because we're going to dip these sticks into these. Um, cake balls. That's going to be cake pops. Get them ready. I'm doing an event this uh, Saturday, so I have a lot of desserts I'm doing. Let's see if I bring that camera just a little closer where you can see it. You might can't see me, but you'll be. I'm going to bring where you can see how this is built. to look at that. This is your Instapot, and then what you do, put the Instapot on saute mode. If it's on saute mode, put it back. Hopefully you can still see that. Doing like that right there, like so. Stir it up till you get it where you want it to be. And you could, it's, I have you put like two cups of water in your in your instant pot. Yeah, two cups of water be good enough because you just want enough for the steam to come up to this pan. So see how that's boiling? Look at that. I'll do, I'll end up just taking this out. What we're going to do with these cake pops, this up. Let me get them up. you're just going to take this right here, like so, and you're just going to put it in here like this right here for your cake pops. Once this set, set gets hard, then we'll dip them. Okay, see them? That's all we're doing. So I just wanted to show you that you can use your Instapot to melt chocolate. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell so that you'll be uploaded on other videos. And thanks for watching my channel. And once I get all of these dipped, for this first part, that's part one, I will be back and show you how I'm dipping the whole cake pop in the chocolate. So hello there again. This is Julia Instapot Queen Girl. So I wanted I took the uh, chocolate off out of the uh, Instapot. And I want to show you how it's nice and pretty and smooth. And what I did, I get have this thermometer, this temperature probe that helps really, really good. And I beamed in on you see the red dot? So it's like 96. It should not be over 98, so now it is good for dipping. So I wanted to show you this part in case you just want to use to get an accurate uh, count. And I love this little um, temperature probe. I got it from Amazon. 
and it was not expensive. So we're going to begin to dip the sticks, as I told you, into my cake pop, and I'll show you the finished product. 